Hi, I am Dr. Zubair and today we will be discussing an important x-ray, a common x-ray which we usually see in our practice and that is an x-ray of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis. As you know, it is quite common in some countries like uh, Pakistan, India and uh, has got high prevalence and uh, in fact TB can present in various ways on a chest x-ray. It can present as consolidation cavitation, effusion, lymphadenopathy, or as collapse as well. Uh, but today we will be discussing only one of these. And uh, let's have a look at this X-ray. And uh, you can pause the video here, have a good look at this X-ray, and try to analyze what findings are there. So if we have a close look at this X-ray, then you can clearly see that there is abnormal area here in the right upper zone. And uh, when we try to analyze this abnormality, you can see that this is a non-homogeneous opacification. So whenever there is a white abnormality, we usually use the term opacification, especially when this is diffuse. And uh, we are saying this is non-homogeneous non because there are certain areas of uh, blackness inside this opacification. So usually the white opacification, the differential is consolidation, collapse, or effusion. This is obviously not a common site for effusion. Effusion is usually seen at the basis. So within this opacification, you can see there are areas uh, which we call air bromogram. These are the areas. You can see air inside this specification. These are the air bromogram. These are typical for consolidation. So differential of consolidation is usually infection. Can also be seen in interstitial lung diseases and uh, certain type of cancers like bronchovalvular carcinoma or adenocarcinoma. And coenomes also be seen in heart failure, in, in which usually it is bilateral and at basis. An important feature of this consolidation is that the trachea is shifted towards the same side, and similarly, the horizontal feature, fissure, which is horizontal at the level of hilum, is pulled up. So this means that this is a chronic process. So we need to think about chronic causes of consolidation like tuberculosis, fungal infection, and other chronic infections. So this was a case of tuberculosis, and uh, the history was suggestive. It was two to three months history of productive cough, fever, weight loss, anorexia, and fever was with night sweats. And when sputum examination was done, it came out positive for AFP. So TB can present with a consolidation like this in the upper zones with signs of volume loss like we can, we can see here. You can write in the comments which other x-ray you will be interested in getting the differential or discussing further. 